Hey guys, it's Connor here from Connor O'Shea Fitness. In today's video, I'm gonna go through what you should be including in your at-home program. So chances are you are doing some sort of exercise at home and hopefully this video will help you optimize the movements that you are doing at home and help you gain more structure in your training when it comes to at-home workouts. So programming is an interesting topic. It's a bit of a rabbit hole. It can go, you can go very deep into it, um, but I guess a great analogy when it comes to programming is is similar to cuisine and this was uh, shared with me from uh, Andy from GMB Fitness and he said that you know if you have a bunch of different cuisines and my example would be like I, I really like Thai food Indian food and Mexican food so if I wanted to create a delicious meal combining Thai food with Indian food and Mexican food isn't necessarily going to create like a super meal or a better meal. It's actually going to be a bit of a mess. Um, if that was the case, you'd have fusion restaurants with them cuisines everywhere. So programming is the same thing. If you have a, a program specifically designed for strength, specifically designed for cardio and specifically designed for uh, high intensity, Combining all three of them programs together isn't necessarily going to get you better results. In fact, it probably won't get you any of the results that the programs were designed for. Uh, it's going to lead to probably higher injury risk and it's also just going to not get you the results that you're probably looking for going into that. And your own programming and your own training is the same. So you want to make things as minimalistic and as specific as possible when it comes to your training. But before you get to any of that, what your program should include is the fundamental human movements. And these are movements that are gonna give your body structure and they're also gonna um, give you strength in, in the body as a whole. And once you have that in place, you also want to be able to move your body through space in, uh, in, with good quality movement. So the fundamental human movements you should be including in your program are upper body pushing and pulling, squatting, hinging, uh, core exercise, and also ground-based movements like locomotion. And once you have all of these fundamental patterns in your program, chances are you're gonna be much more uh, structurally sound and your training is going to be resulting, you know, getting results as opposed to developing overuse injuries. Now you're trying to have a balance between, you know, upper body pushing and pulling, and then also between your hinging and squatting patterns and also between your core exercises and your ground-based movements. So, you know, if 90% of your program is pushing movements and 10% is everything else, then you know that you're, you're, you're very much skewed with your training. And this is what happens to a lot of guys, especially they'll go to the gym and they'll just do bench press and bicep curls and all the exercises that are, you know, that are the beach muscles. Whereas really you should be trying to focus on training the body as a whole and training the body in a balanced manner. So, that's kind of all I wanted to share with you today, guys. You know, going into programming in more detail, it's uh, is a lot more to it, and there is an article that I have linked to the comment section below that you can check out that goes into programming in much more detail. But the things to think about is, first of all, more is not always better. A more minimalistic approach to your programming is going to give you better results, and also focusing on making sure that you're hitting all the fundamental human movements. So you're hitting upper body pushing, upper body pulling. Uh, squatting pattern, hinging pattern, core exercise, and some sort of ground-based movement where you're getting up and down off the ground or you're moving across the ground like locomotion uh, patterns or Turkish get-ups. So if you have any questions, you can comment below. And if you found the video beneficial, you can like and share as well.